Mr. Elmsley here, how are you guys doing? Uh, I got a really short video for you guys today because it's a pretty simple uh, project we're going to be working on. Not a whole lot we can do in our grammar assignments, not a whole lot we can do in our lit assignments, so what I want you guys to do is focus on this bad boy, your vocab sheet. Hopefully you guys remember to bring this home today. I know that's kind of a forgetful thing for us, but uh, we need to work on changing that. Anyway, the topic of this is animal testing. Is it good or is it bad? Um, what I want you guys to do is to take out a piece of paper, pause me right now if you need to, make your pro and con sheet, and do some research on this topic. Find out if find out all about animal testing. You know what? What are the good things? What are the bad things? What kind of dangers are out there? A good thing to do is check out Google. Uh, go to the news articles in Google, or just simply type in your you know favorite search engine, animal testing. All right, start reading some articles. I want you guys to bring in those articles. I want you to bring in a pro and a con sheet on this. Uh, if we do this and we do well on our compliments test, which is coming up on Wednesday, by the way, we've got a special treat for you. We're going to watch basically the greatest Halloween movie of all time. No, it's not a, a scary movie or a horror flick or anything like that. It is, of course, The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. We'll watch The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown on Friday if we bring in this, uh, this research, this pro and con stuff on animal testing and we do well on our, our test on uh, Wednesday. So they hopefully give you a goal uh, to work for. But uh, remember, compliments, we're talking about all types of compliments, whether it be a direct object, indirect object, a predicate adjective or a predicate nominative. So be brushing up on that, know the difference between them. Do some research on animal testing, whether it's good, whether it's bad, formulate your own opinion on it, and we'll have something to look forward to by the end of this week. Catch you guys later. Remember to stay zombie-free. It's Mr. Helmsing.